Hey guys, Protagonist24 here, and welcome back to some more Clash Royale. In this video, I am here on a new level 1 account, as you can see from the 0 XP at level 1 in the top left hand corner. I've opened only the one wooden chest so I can get my uh, silver chest, so I can finish the last training battle. And uh, as you can see here, we've just got the minions, and we've got the knight, a few cards. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up. Yeah, I'll force us to upgrade our knight, of course. Be okay with. I'll like the mini P.E.K.K.A. there as well. Not bad. As soon as... Uh, actually, I can just do this. Remove all this. I like to organize my decks. Uh, by, like, win condition in the first slot. Best support card in the second slot. Uh, go with knight archers in the next slot, because that's... Uh, Combo type and stuff. Mini pack of minions here. Actually, I'll swap those around. I, I'm kind of OCD with my uh, put things in my decks, but yeah, my small spell always goes in this slot. My big spell always goes in that slot. But let's uh, what we can here. Get cards leveled up, and uh, yeah. Uh, all my accounts are free to play, but uh, this one will be no different. We've got a level 2 here. Let's see, we'll musky in the back. This looks like this guy knows what he's actually doing, so uh, this might actually be a decently interesting battle. There's a knight tank for that musket here. We need to uh, take out that giant. Take that musketeer. He goes the minions there. He does that pretty good. We'll take our musketeer too. So we the giant in the back. I think we're up. Or maybe not actually. Maybe up one or two elixir. Uh, he did split archers there, which I found a bit interesting. Maybe I'd drop arrows off here, take out that archer, lower that musketeer down. He's gonna probably go mini P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Blow that back, hopefully those minions can take that out. Nah, giant goes down, but we also get a bit of chip damage there. Sadly, he does have a little two towers, otherwise those minions would've got a bit more damage than that. Okay, he's the one that's up now a little bit, so we'll go with the knight in the back here. Depending on what he does to support that, I might go really aggressive opposite lane. Let's go with the minions and the archers, so that's really good arrows value there. The so giant in front. He does go with his musky there. I do expect him to go mini P.E.K.K.A. too. He just goes knight, so we are gonna mini P.E.K.K.A. opposite. Muskie did get on tower a little bit there too. Muskie will shoot at it unfortunately, but we still need to get a good amount of damage. I expect him to giant front here. Yeah, decent play by him. We'll get the fireball here. Play the knight. Play minions to take this out. That mini P.E.K.K.A. is gonna get a swing or two. Like we have to finish off our tower there. So we'll play our giant in front. Uh, play archers as well. He doesn't have many back end cycle right now, so His arrows finish that off. That should be able to get the giant the tower. Yep. Oh, we'll must get the opposite lane. Finish off those minions. Uh, he does go super aggressive here. Should be able to just drop a nice fireball here. My mini P.E.K.K.A. should be able to hit that mini P.E.K.K.A. We are sitting in a decent position here with a good amount of damage on his second tower. And he just used his mini P.E.K.K.A. so we are going to go with the archers. Deal with those minions a little bit. Hopefully get one or two giant hits here. Two, not bad. I'm going to play mini P.E.K.K.A. on the outside in case he giants pocket as well. Does. That archer is going to finish off our muskie, which is a bit unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and drop this off here. 
Drop that on their arrows, and I think that's GG. I'll play it to my friend here. That was a decently interesting match, but it was just mechanically outplayed. Alright, there we go, another silver chest. Also, 30 trophies, since we were even. Uh, we can get goblins and spear goblins here. Uh, I'll probably trade spear goblins out for my archers just to ease up a bit of cycle. Or maybe. Maybe I'll trade out minions. We'll see how this goes. But let's hop into our next match here. Christian, 49 trophies. No clan. Uh, Musky in the back. Bit of an odd placement. Suspecting it could be a bot. Uh, yeah, this is a bot. This should be an easy three crown then. Let's ignore that musky. Yeah, there's a giant in the back. Yeah, in the middle of my push. Let's take out those minions. Reserve some HP for mini pickle. Get to that giant. And then we'll have the minions coming down. He doesn't even have arrows in cycle. At the fucking river. And now I'll just get eaten alive. And then we'll arrows. Fireballs. Mini Pekka should take it down pretty low. 800, yeah. Okay. Random archers at the river. We can just eat and go in with our giant. Uh, I don't know if the AI is good enough to play a mini peck on that, but no, he just decides to arrow behind his own tower because he thinks it's a musketeer or something. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm 100% sure this is an AI, not a real player. The knight doesn't shut it down in time, and uh, easy 3 crown on this AI. Best way to determine whether it's an AI or not is just look at their name, if it's like a one word, like, basic bitch, like, name, and they have, uh, uh, we'll go with Spear Goblins, I think, here. You know, I, I always choose Spear Goblins. Let's just go with the Goblins. No one ever uses the Goblins. So, so I'm gonna level them up to level 3, and I'll pull out the Knight for now. Give us a bit of a cheaper cycle. And uh, it's another ground card. We have the Mini Pekka in there for tanking still. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave everything as it is. 61, but uh, let me go check out this guy's profile, and it says, uh, three wins, highest trophy is 57. If we get another bot, I'll go into their profile too, and see what it looks like. Hugo, that's another AI, guaranteed. No clan, you, and basic which name, arrows don't even hit the tower. Yeah, another AI. There'll probably be quite a few AIs down here early on, uh, but... Hopefully we don't get too many and we do get a few actual players. I don't really care if that gets a hit or two. But I'm just gonna pop the ear and go for aggressively three crowning this guy. Just get as much progress as fast as we can against these AI. It's very boring fights since they have absolutely atrocious AI. Like, yeah, we know bots are in the game, so great if Supercell would just maybe program them down here to have like a little bit better AI. Because, uh, yeah, I know they, they even have bots up around 2,000 trophies. Uh, not as commonly, of course. But, uh, yeah, it'd be really nice if they uh, adjusted the AI a bit further up to actually make some more decent plays and not always make placements like dropping shit off like right there and stuff. Yeah, okay, we'll stuff this in front of here. I was trying to completely ignore that mini P.E.K.K.A. Take out the three crown. Yeah, you see what I mean? Exactly what I mean. Like, the muskies are right there. What's that supposed to do? It's not like a nice goal. I'm going to kite something with that, my guy. <coughs> okay, another easy 31. Let's go ahead and hit battle again right away. Hopefully we don't get too many eyes and we get a few actual players. Uh, Rev, yeah, he's, got, he's in a clan, so I'm just, this is a real player. Good luck, my friend. Drop our musky in the back, get things rolling. 
Almost done as Knight Marchers and Minions, that's super easy arrows value. Bump off our goblins, tank the one hit. Uh, save that one goblin, the giant. Maybe a bit chip there. While he's dealing with that, I'll bump up my mini P.E.K.K.A. opposite. He should be very low on Elixir after playing that mini P.E.K.K.A. and that must keep will go on to damage that tower a bunch too. He does drop off that knight, which we should be able to eat up with our minions, and now we have both towers down decently. And there he goes, another more archers. Uh, I'll just play my own archers to deal with those. Hopefully he plays something. Okay, goblins there. Musky here. I feel like goblins were a better choice than the spear goblins because I can actually deal with tanks. He only hits the musky through with that, not the goblins. We do get an extra stab or two there. Musky won't be able to hit the tower since those minions take care of it. And we'll see what he does here. Let's go with a giant in the back on the weak side. There's a musky up there. I would fireball, but I don't even think it's where I, I will take those that arrow's value there though. As soon as that locks on, we'll play archers up here. Whittle that down. He goes with that, so I'll use the minions to take it out. As soon as that mini pecker comes down is when I'm gonna fireball. Okay, nice arrows. Still ship the tower though. Probably giant soon, I'm assuming. Okay, he's just throwing out some archers to the river. As soon as that locks on, the goblins behind the musky. The archers back here. Player on mini P.E.K.K.A. is just mini P.E.K.K.A. It does hit our giant though, unfortunately, but we are building up a few musketeers here now. We can just go with another giant. We did arrows, but uh... I haven't seen his fireball come down yet this game, so that would be a very good fireball for him. Fireball of mine actually hit nothing. There's his fireball, but he only hit the giant, he didn't hit the musky, so that should finish him off. His minions might stop it though. Nope, got it. Good luck, my friend. Alright, there's a gold chest here, some extra gold, an extra goblin, not bad. Unlock the spear goblins, some archers, some minions, we can level those up, and some giants. So yeah, the new trophy road, early on, they took out the prince, baby dragon, skeleton army, and I think Valkyrie was it? Or Valkyrie might have been arena 2 all the time, I can't remember. They took out uh, wall breakers, I think it was. And we got the goblin, you used to be able to get the hog rider down here and stuff, and you used to be able to get golem in arena 3. But now it's just uh, barrel, uh, battle ram, stuff like that. But uh, we'll probably be taking the fireballs instead of cage. We got mini P.E.K.K.A. early, and we'll be getting tombstone in next arena probably. But let's go ahead and level up our minions with three and our giants with four. So yeah, giants like the only win condition until arena three, so it's good to get some more of those. That'll help out. Yeah, you see another Hugo all caps. Definitely an AI, especially with those placements, my guy. Like, what is that? I should distract these archers. They don't take my archers. Oh, that's actually not a terrible placement. And, uh, definitely thought that was like a musketeer or something, though. But, that. But, this could actually be a tiny bit tricky to deal with with these card levels. It's noticing, like, hey, this guy hasn't lost yet. It's not that bad. So. Let's play... I don't think my minion... I think my minions get one shot by that, because it's level 5. Yeah, they do. A bit unfortunate. But play archers here and arrow that. Can't go super aggressive on this guy, as he had, seems to have uh, some higher level cards. Uh, Unfortunate. 
drawing this out a bit against this AI. But as you can see, it's literally the exact same name as I first, like, two games ago. We do need our goblins for the mini P.E.K.K.A. so hopefully my musket doesn't go down here. I'm actually going to try in front to prevent that hit. Yeah, you can see archers in the opposite. It's kind of an odd place when he arrows right as I minions goblins. GG. I know he can't actually see it. Good game. I just threw at him, but no more archers since he doesn't have too much splash. I'll probably fireball this and it's King Tower's about half dead. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a good game already. when there's nothing there, like, you can tell these are AI. <laughs> like, if we go ahead and look at his stats here, he does have Cage in there and a bit different card levels. Seems to be just leveled up a little bit. No Fireball, taking out for Cage. But, as you can see, like, nine wins instead of three after, like, me winning one match in between. Exact same name. Pretty clearly AI. We'll take the fireball, get that leveled up some. One off being level 5, too. Not bad. Hopefully, we can just pull a random fireball out of a chest. I'll keep her on moving. I'll probably be recording a few of these videos in a row here without. Uh, time in between, let's go with our goblins wide. I don't have my uh, EDS elephant, that's not really, uh, yeah, that's beautiful arrows. Kind of set that up pretty good. I probably should have played musky instead of those archers. And it's a, this, should, this is a real player, I believe. Yeah, decent fireball in the tower and musky that does one shot too. Wow, okay. Might have to play this one a bit slow. That was some interesting musky though. I'm just gonna tank for that with my giant. Some air goblins. We'll play archers up high. One of them might go down, but. No, they don't. Now we mini pack with that. Archer should deal with those minions. That should be tower. We might get a knight down or something, but. I don't think he's a super experienced player, he's just a uh, decent fireball there. Uh, it is a real player though, as you can tell, compared to the AI. They're whack random placements, like throwing muskies right there. That's an interesting game. You can definitely tell he's not an experienced player on that one. Uh, I'll take this arrow's value, I guess. Pop that cage a little bit quicker. Tank for it with some goblins, the muskie can deal with it. Uh, I should just have fireball this instead. Fireball could have been placed a little bit better, but it didn't actually matter that much. He does arrow that musketeer. If you place something else on it, I'm just gonna rush opposite. Okay, he doesn't, so we'll just play in the back. Let's go with another mini P.E.K.K.A. on the bridge. Cycles back to the cage though. Play minions high, see if I can't pop that cage. Yeah. He missed the musky on that too. Oof. Grab my guy. Mini Pekka. We're back to our other giant. Play archers too. We'll have another musketeer down. There's really nothing this guy can do now. Goblin steals the mini Pekka. If he plays one, well, but he's already dead. <laughs> two giants, two muskies on the tower with a mini Pekka. Yeah. Good luck, guy. It's gonna be pretty much me just steamrolling everyone down here. I have been top 1000 in Canada on my main and I'm free to play, so. Uh, really early on here, it really shouldn't be much of an issue for me. Level 3, 
Jasmine, that's kind of like a, yeah, and the, that placement, it's an AI. Yeah. Uh, I'll mini pack it too, because I'm not sure we're going to deal with a couple of those guys. Uh, one hero that, just that Archer doesn't really deal too much to my mini pecker and takes out two shots as well. Mini pecker gets there for any two hits there. Not too bad. Musky in the back. Some random minions in the middle of the map. That's one yet. Random cage in the bridge. The spear gob on the literally ignore all of that. Got some more archers over there. This is like basically no elixir now. Many back I have it down. He'll try arrows or something. So I don't know if they might be minions yet, but goblin needs to deal with that. Hold on these now, but You can usually tell based on their names if they're an AI or not, along with them not being in a clan. Uh, what do we have here? Some gold. Not bad. We got a gold chest after the two more battles. I think I'll uh, not open any of my unlock chests. I'll just uh, save up all four and then open them all at once for like a baby free-to-play chest opening. <laughs> We should get a magical chest pretty early on as well, I think. It's pretty typical. <laughs> okay, we had a real player since Emo came out. Batala Ralal also isn't a very bot like name. Okay. Bit of a questionable placement there, but it's great as a new player. Because bots do not use uh, Fireball, it doesn't even use the mini Pekko. They have mini Tai, Giant up top. And we have a pretty massive counter push. Please target the giant. No, target the minions, but either way that tower is dead. He does get the goblins down, but we have to put on musketeer now. Back to our mini Pekka as well. We're not gonna three crown right away here since the second tower will shut that down pretty fast. But we should get it down around 300 health. Let's go some deep archers. He does have the prince. It's kind of scary, actually. Those goblins. Mini Pekka over here on this. He does have a one shot, which is kind of sad, but the Mini Pekka should clean it up nice. Probably play minions or something on top of those archers. But yeah, he just fire plus the tower. Good game. Fireball here, so that many Pekka walks forward. Tower down. Good luck, sir. Or ma'am. Alright, one more. We'll get that gold chest. Hopefully, it gives us a fireball. We can get our level 5 fireball. Shut down some all four muskies in one hit. <laughs> Nani, this is an AM. Yeah, just gonna go right, right into it. Our good game comes out. Okay, this is a player actually. Uh, they might actually have a good understanding of the game too, I'm not exactly sure. Definitely thought it was an AI based on the name, but I guess that was a bit off uh, like normal like some archers here, protect that musky. Oh, that thing one shot it, that's Unfortunate. I really don't want a mini Pekka here, so I'm actually gonna tank with the giant instead. So there's his giant. That would have been a decent mini Pekka then, because he played his giant too, but. The spear goblins there, I'll slowly shut it down. It'll definitely get through if he doesn't play something else though. He has an arrow, so I can play my minions here. Shut down these spear goblins, get the mini Pekka straight path to the tower. That one minion, shh, it, it doesn't help out much, but it will shut down that last goblin, even though the tower would have done the same. So yeah, I, I got a little bit frisky thinking it would be an AI, based on just not having a clan and the basic one word, all lowercase name, but... 
it's a bit more interesting since it is a real player. That fireball does one shot, that's kind of unfortunate. All these guys have their level 5s already, but I have my level 4 fireball. Hopefully after this win though, I will uh, get my next fireball. I don't think I'll lose anyway, unless he gets some giant mini P.E.K.K.A push off or something, or giant prince push even. I don't think he has mini P.E.K.K.A. But play minions up high, start dealing with that knight. Archers in the back since he already played his arrows. He doesn't seem to realize any of his arrows for those goblins. Fire, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's no way I lose. I am gonna go for the second tower though, instead of the three crown. Because I don't think I can get through that three crown in time. I probably can't even get through that two crown in time, to be honest. But I'm damn well gonna try. Oh, I might actually, I might have it right there. Fireball. Let's kite this prince, mini P.E.K.K.A on top, or actually let's archers on, or minions on top, sorry. Put some arrows to keep a couple of those minions alive. Minions will start chipping away at that giant mini P.E.K.K.A down, tank for the knight and the goblins. Textbook, basically. Uh, there's not a lot of strange mechanics down in these early arenas. Goblin Cage is one of the only ones that has much uh, depth to it. Kind of like, uh, hey, it's something. It's a tank. You kill it with a tank killer. It's a swarm. You kill it with a splash card. Got some archers, goblins, a mini P.E.K.K.A. and a musketeer. Okay, we can level up the mini P.E.K.K.A. and musketeer though. Uh, kind of wanted the fireball, but this does help a bit too. So yeah, we're good. Card levels are getting up there. Not having got any of the cards that I ha aren't, am not using really. I think I might have got one or two knights, but that's not too big of a deal. It'd be nice to get a few more arrows though. I think my arrows are still level one or two. Let's go to the giant in the back, Nicholas, level four at this arena. That's most likely an AI, or yeah, it's definitely an AI. Giant should get in front of those archers. We've got Mini Pekka now level 4 on top of that giant. We have level 4 musky as well. I'll let it separate a little bit from those archers before I play it. Hopefully, he plays some arrows. Oh, yes. Those Mini Pekka's will trade with those archers here. Those goblins are going to take up my musky. And he, oh, that was weird. Looks like he played two sets of skeletons in a row there for a second. Uh, I'm not questioning this guy being an AI now. Uh, I'm sure you all saw that too. Just drop off the fireball. A couple archers should be able to deal with that. You drop some minions there. That one archer should be able to help shut that down. They are level 4 though. He'll get a hit there. Or no he won't. I thought it would. Let's play a giant here. Tank for those spear goblins. Also, let me know down in the comments uh, whether or not you want to, like, uh, not whether or not, uh, if you want me to adjust the game audio at all. I did a little test quickly before this uh, recording just to make sure everything was working good in the audio. And it was, just the game audio was a bit loud, so I turned it down a few ticks, so hopefully it's not bad. My voice definitely is the prevalent audio, but I didn't even bother dealing with that giant, so I'm gonna get his three crown there. <laughs> Alrighty, so that should put us just over the edge into Bone Pit. Uh, I'm gonna end this recording here and uh, go on to the next one. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this new account gameplay. Uh, really haven't been doing much YouTubing lately, video recording anything. I was visiting friends out of town, visiting friends who came up into town to visit. A lot of stuff going on. I haven't really put much time into recording any gameplay because I've been mainly playing like Apex Legends and stuff like that. And it's kind of hard to make content when you're not like a top tier gamer in that game. I'm like a pretty good player, it's just I'm not top tier, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, be 
great if you guys would subscribe. Small channel means a lot to me. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out.